is up guys, From Sea to Stone here, and in this episode we'll be following these White Widow Waddle Flowers through week number two. This week is an important one because I'll be feeding these gals for the first time ever. I'll also be talking about my rough feed schedule that will carry these girls all the way through their entire life cycle. Younger plants are considerably less resilient than a plant that's even a few weeks older. Incorrect pH levels, underwatering, and overfeeding are all common ways a newer plant can perish. That is why my motto is to keep things simple at first. Let's take a look at what nutrients I'll be using. I picked up the General Hydroponics Flora Trio, however, I'll be using just the Micro and the Bloom. I'll also be using CalMag. I'll have all the products linked in the description of this video. These newts are very cheap and will easily last you a year. To start, I'll be adding in 2 milliliters of CalMag per gallon of water used. Calcium and magnesium are very hard to overfeed and are crucial to a plant while still in the vegetative stage. Next, I'll be adding in 2 milliliters of Micro per gallon of water. Micro is essentially our building block for nutrients. Micro offers tons of individual vitamins and minerals such as potash, boron, copper, iron, and also nitrogen. Micro actually has enough nitrogen in it to replace the flora grow and in turn gives us a smaller chance at burning our plants because our feed solution is simpler now overall. The last nutrient I'll be adding in is bloom. I'll be using 4 milliliters per gallon of water. It's important to note that I'm growing in a cocoa core perlite mix which lacks calcium and magnesium. That's why I have to add it to my mix. But if you're in soil you shouldn't have to add cow mag in and just run with the micro and the bloom. Lastly, one of the most important steps in growing indoors and in a soilless medium is your pH. I'll be using some pH down to bring my pH within a range of 5.5 to 6.5. I found my plants are happiest at around 5.8 to 6.1. However, make sure that you vary each feeding's pH just slightly, as different vitamins and minerals are absorbed through the roots at different pH levels. The last step from here is to water the plants. Make sure you don't get any on the leaves themselves as this can cause burning due to direct contact with our feed. Now my ratio for auto flowers stays the same the entire way through. I'm using a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio of cow mag micro and bloom. As the plants get older I don't change that ratio however I just change the amounts that I feed. For week 1 I don't use any nutrients at all. For week 2 I feed 2 milliliters of cow mag, 2 milliliters of micro, and 4 milliliters of bloom. For weeks 3 to 5 I feed 3, 3, 6. Finally to finish up the plant from week 6 until harvest I'll feed 4 4 milliliters of cow mag, 4 milliliters of micro, and 8 milliliters of bloom up until the last 7 to 10 days when fleshing begins. Keep in mind that this is just a general schedule. It is up to you as the grower to decide when the plant needs to be fed. If you notice your leaves turning a lime green color, then it's time to feed. And if you notice the tips of your leaves starting to burn, well then it's best to give the gals a break with some clean pH balanced water for a few days. Alternatively, you can feed every other watering. Again, it all depends on what your plant needs and you have to be the one to decide. Thanks for checking out my grow series. If you guys like this video so far, make sure to press that button below. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to let me know. Add me up on Snapchat for a behind the scenes look and other exclusive content. Visit the merch store to rep and support your favorite growing channel. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do so now and turn on notifications. Now let's get back to it. These ladies are now officially 14 days old and I'm happy to report that they are doing great and loving life. I have been completely blown away with how good our budget setup has been running. This budget LED has been performing exceptionally well so far. Yeah, they are slightly smaller than the ladies that I started in the main tent back when they were two weeks old, but that's also comparing a $300 setup to a $6,000 one. I've also been skeptical on budget LEDs due to horror stories and crappy yields. However, with this light set fairly close to the plants, they seem 
to love it so far. The fact it puts out virtually no heat means the plants aren't getting any heat stress and they are receiving the proper PPFD values that they need in order to thrive. The true test is going to be how they handle during flower when the plants get larger, but we will get there when we get there. Now there is one thing I've noticed so far with these gals and it's some early mutations found on two of the three white widows. Although they are very mild mutations, their first set of true leaves had no separate leaf blades and seemed to morph all into one giant leaf blade. This isn't necessarily bad news, but could be the sign of an unstable phenotype. Plant mutations are a lot more common in early growth versus later growth, and thankfully they still seem to be growing at a consistent rate. There is one gal so far that's been showing the signs of a really strong phenotype, a picture-perfect 14-day-old plant that seems to be loving life. I have a feeling this gal is going to be one of the healthiest, most resilient plants found in the tent. All in all, these gals are looking great, and they finished week two successfully. Three lucky viewers have the chance to win a free set of the nutrients used in this video. Each set will come with a bottle of CalMag, Micro, and Bloom, as well as a pack of dosing syringes and a mixing bucket. Entering is easy, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already, like this video, and finally follow my Instagram. I'll be choosing the winners at random and I will message you through Instagram if you've won. If you guys have any questions about feeding, feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help with growing, then make sure to check out my Patreon account. These videos are designed to give you all the information that you need, however I totally understand there are so many different variables when it comes to growing, so let me know if you need any more help. I'll be seeing you guys next week Monday for a normal grow series video, and as always guys, happy growing!